Sony Xperia. <laughs> this shit is sick. <laughs> You look, your beard looks pretty good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching that little short cinematic video shot on the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. Sony, thank you for sending us that phone for a few days to just check out and test. I would say it's a big upgrade in terms of overall quality from the Mark II. Um, I love the Sony interface on that pro cinema camera, like native app. I had a lot of fun on that video shooting in 4K, 120 frames per second. I think it's super cool. You can only shoot on the main standard lens, but let me just say the main standard lens is definitely gonna get you the highest quality out of that phone. I shot on this super wide built-in lens, which is like a 16 millimeter equivalent. That one looks a little bit mushy, doesn't hold up as well as the 24 millimeter standard lens. And same with the 70 and I think 105. The super long telephoto lenses, they look good and they're passable. There's a few shots here and there in there. Um, but that main 24 mil lens, if you lock in manual focus, just like, it's insane what you can get. There's a lot of depth of field actually. And the colors are awesome because they're the Venice color profile. There's a few other um, color profiles you can choose in the app, but I chose that Venice color profile because it matches some of their pro cinema camera lines. So it's very filmmaker-esque, even the way the app is laid out. You can shoot in 24 frames per second. You can dial in your shutter speed. This film specifically did not use an ND filter because I didn't have one with me. We were actually out at our work offsite retreat when we got the phone shipped to us. So I was just luckily in a pretty area. We went for a hike and uh, shot a few things. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do have questions about this phone specifically in terms of filmmaking, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. This definitely wasn't a full in-depth review or anything. I just wanted to put out the cinematic cut and then do a little wrap up here at the end. But if you like this video, make sure to hit like. It does help the video and the channel out and also hit subscribe because we're trying to grow the channel, as all YouTube channels do, but uh, we would appreciate that. And yeah, definitely a big upgrade in terms of overall crispiness from the Mark II, which is the one thing I wanted to see improved, and I think they nailed it. Great phone, cool colors, definitely. If you're a filmmaker, you'll be hyped on it. I use this, the Zhiyun, or Zhiyun, I think it's actually Zhiyun. Uh, I use the Zhiyun Crane M2, comes with just a little phone clip, so there you go. That's the gimbal I used on this video. And then other than that, nothing else. I used a tiny bit of warp stabilizer in post on some of the shots just to get the perfect smoothness. Um, but yeah, overall happy with the results. So thanks again, Sony. See you in the next video. Peace.